Hey everybody, Michael here, playing Nancy Drew, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Right now, I am going to continue exploring the Icicle Creek Lodge. So this is the downstairs area, and we have two characters. Right over here, we have Yanni Volkstaya. Nancy, I am glad to see you. Are you alright? You seem upset. You must listen. I was outside skiing very fast, as usual, and suddenly, boom, snow, dirt, rocks, everything went flying into the air right in front of me. There is a mad bomber on the loose. Did you see anyone? I saw no one, not before, not after. My competitors bombed the bunkhouse thinking I would be so frightened that I would abandon my training and leave. Only I wasn't frightened, so now they are trying to bomb me. Well, there was a mad bomber, there was a bomb which went off, and it trapped Nancy inside an avalanche. And a bomb went off and blew up the bunkhouse, and we need to figure out who this mad bomber is. We're in the middle of nowhere. Just where do you think these people are hanging out? They can operate anywhere in the world, under all conditions. It would not surprise me if someone right here in the lodge is right now under their employ. But to them, I say, pa, they do not scare me. I am the best cross-country skier in the world. I will neutralize their petty threats with my excellent strength, skill, and speed. I am sorry. Enough about my problems. Did you want something? Have you ever seen a wolf while you were out training? No, for which I am very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. Uh-oh. Really? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I am going to say on the matter. I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. I also hear that you can be pretty imaginative when it comes to gaining an edge on your competition. I told you about the bomb. My competitors will stop at nothing to defeat me. I am forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country. But I have no choice. All right. Thanks for the information, Yanni. That's all for now. Kavichinaya. I wonder how he knows Nancy. I mean, she didn't introduce herself to him. He just sort of knew who she was. Eat so. Hey, Ollie. How's it going? I'm just trying to get the lay of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this case. Well, this is my workshop. I'm building something that's going to solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, about twenty yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while I just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day. But she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she's something. Alright, it looks like we got an awful lot we can talk to him about. Let's talk about the avalanche. Did you know there was an avalanche at Chicken Ridge? Sure didn't. Not surprised, though. You called the avalanche patrol? I tried calling them, but the phone number didn't work. No, should I? You better give those employee instructions I left in your room another look. Reporting avalanches is part of your job. Can you tell right. me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can. Oh, come on! But I kind of need to know. Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. Oh, okay. Lawyers, all right. How long have you worked for Chantal? Makes sense. About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. 
I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. The first time I talked to Chantal, she mentioned you used to be a rancher. Do you miss ranching? Yeah, a little. Tough life, though. Owned my own spread about 15 years ago. Well, bank owned most of it. And after two bad winters and one bone dry summer, bank owned all of it. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands off enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. Alrighty. Does your wife, Freddie's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddie'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddie south too is out of the question. Have you seen that strange concrete monument thing that's out there on the trail? <laughs> Trapper Dance Needle? Of course. What can you tell me about it? All I can tell you is it was built by the same stir-crazy old guy who built this place. Maybe something in that display up in the lobby will tell you what you want to know. Alrighty. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. See you later. Alright, see you later there. Now we're uh, gonna go upstairs. Alright, we'll go upstairs. I think some of the things that I did have disappeared, if that makes any sense. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100-year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. When I failed at the cooking challenge in the last video, I think it sent me back in time, an hour or so. So Nancy Drew is now a time traveler. And that sort of undid all the things I did there, such as talk to Freddy and look at those pictures. What you need. I'll let you get back to work. If you need anything, just holler. At least I think that's what happened. I could be wrong. So make sure to save your game, especially if you're going to do a cooking challenge, which is what I'm going to do right now. So let's save the game here. And now let's get cooking. First things first, I want to test out this time travel theory. So let's purposely start a fire and see what happens. It is now 12.17 p.m. 12.17 p.m. And now it's 12.15 p.m. Wow! So if you're bad at cooking, you can travel through time. I think we have solved the secret of time travel. Let's see if I can start a fire on this grill. Alrighty, fire, fire, yes, here we go. Nobody likes their food that well built, Nancy. Okay, so I traveled in time once again. But what I did was I traveled in time an hour, I think. I don't want to travel in time just a couple of minutes. Let's see how far backwards Nancy can go. Nobody likes their food that well built, Nancy. Okay, one more try. One more try, everybody. One more try. I think if you fail enough times in a row, you get sent back in time an hour. That's what I think happened. I'm not sure if that's what really happened. Nobody likes their food that well done, Nancy. Okay, never mind. Okay, fine. I guess I won't go back in time anymore. Let's finish making food, okay? Quesadilla here. Order complete. Order up. This person needs a quesadilla and a hamburger. Let's just make five, no not five, four hamburgers. That's a bad quesadilla. Good quesadilla. So now we have hamburgers ready. Well, that's a burnt quesadilla. Okay, I am bad at quesadillas. 
This is two cheese, two lettuce. Two cheese, two lettuce. Suddenly I think I'm one of the Hardy Boys and last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Two pickles, one tomato. One tomato. Mustard and ketchup. Order up. Yes. Okay, this is a hamburger, cheese and lettuce. Tomatoes, onion, mustard, and ketchup. Tomatoes, onion, ketchup, and mustard. Order up. One quesadilla. Oh, we need another quesadilla. Okay. This hamburger needs cheese, pickles, and onion. Cheese, pickle, onion. Two onion. And ketchup. Order up. Order up. And one quesadilla. All right. So what happens to the remaining hamburger? Do I get to eat the hamburger? All righty. So that's it for cooking. All right.